Fighting corruption was a high priority at this year's APEC meetings. Members are building up a network to prevent the flight of both illegal funds and criminals. CCTV's Han Bin speaks to a Chinese anti-corruption expert who says a new anti-corruption mechanism could have far-reaching significance for international cooperation. China and Australia have joined hands in fighting corruption. Police from both sides are taking action. They have seized the assets of corrupt Chinese officials in Australia. This is part of China's international campaign, codenamed Operation Fox Hunt. The objective is to bring back all fugitive officials to face justice. Chinese experts like Professor Cheng Wen Hao from Tsinghua University believe that the China-Australian cooperation is more than just a symbolic. It opens a new route for the country's global fight against corruption. Both countries are signatory states of the UN Anti-Corruption Convention. They have obligation on law enforcement. Although they have no extradition treaty, they can still cooperate within the framework of a higher international law. Fleeing abroad and transferring assets overseas, the decades-old game plan of corrupt officials. The top three destinations are Australia, the U.S. and Canada. The reasons? Easy to get residency, easy to transfer money, and no fear of prosecution. And no extradition treaty. China's new anti-corruption direction is going beyond borders. The focus has changed from consensus to pragmatic cooperation. China has been actively seeking bilateral judicial assistance with other countries. We have signed agreements on judicial assistance, extradition, and transferring of convicted persons with around 63 countries. China is pushing to upgrade the APEC network of anti-corruption authorities and law enforcement agencies known as ACT-NET. Sharing information and resources is key. Many countries have found that illegal money usually went through underground economies, which created more crimes. So the attitudes in dealing with fugitives and their illegal money have been drastically changed. There has been a high consensus among APAC members to expand cross-border cooperation to bring more transparency and fairness to the global economy. Professor Cheng says such stronger law enforcement cooperation could be a game changer, not just for China and APEC, but in the global fight against corruption.